Hello, my name is Aviva Perlman and I was one of Ami Team's Yahadu teachers this summer. For the past several summers, every Adan camp has worked on what we call a take-home project, which is we determine a project and they work on it in camp and it's something that they can bring home, take home, and use with their families. This summer, Ami Team worked on Havdalah sets and we learned all about the different parts of the Havdalah, the Havdalah service and practice every prayer. And I just wanted to show you what you're going to have when your campers come home this at the end of the camp. So there are four pieces to this Havdalah set. The first is a nice little decorative plate that you can place all the ritual items on. There are three stars to signify that Shabbat is over. When Shabbat is over, you know by looking in the sky and seeing three stars. After an introductory bracha, or blessing, we then say the blessing over the wine. This helps contain the sanctification of Shabbat. We open Shabbat with, with saying the bracha over wine, and we close Shabbat with the bracha over wine. The second bracha, or blessing that we say, is over what's called bisamim, or spices. We're very sad that Shabbat is over, but smelling the sweet spices, these are bay leaves, but cinnamon is also used in, in cloves. So by smelling them, we are suddenly made more happy that uh, the week to come is going to be exciting and that Shabbat is just around the corner. Oops. Then finally, we have the candle holder and the candle. The candle is a multi-wicked candle. Um, mainly off the interpretation of the bracha, which is borei, uh, morei ha'esh, which is for creating the lights of fire. So we thought we would have multiple lights. And a special thing happens when we, we light this candle. First, it's the first act of work that we can do on Shabbat. After Shabbat ends, we kindle the fire. And when we say the bracha over the candle, we hold it up and then we hold our hands. We hold our hands up to the light so that we can distinguish, Havdalah means separation or distinction, we can distinguish the light from the shadows that the light creates on our hands. Then we say a nice ending bracha, or blessing, about how God helps us have the ability to make distinctions between the holy and the ordinary, light and dark, uh, the people of Israel and the rest of the people of the world, and the six days of week of work, and then Shabbat. Oh, included in the kits are these lovely blessings books that each of your campers colored, and it helps you with all the bracha, bracha with and instructions. And there's also a nice little source sheet inside. Following this video is Ami Team performing the Havdalah service so that you can see how it's done at camp, and then you can do it hopefully at home with your family. Enjoy. <laughs>